Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to note that our normal playthrough series of KXP and POV will return shortly, but for now I had a few off-series ideas that I wanted to share with you. The first being this five low-impact yet high-quality mods that have become staples in my playthrough. So without any further ado, let's just jump right on in with number one being Early Bird. Now when I say low impact, what I mean is that the mod doesn't have to have too much of an overall effect on the game. It may be a tool or a shortcut, but ultimately the game is just the same, just slightly more enjoyable. So now what Early Bird does is it adjusts the warp to sunrise time. This is the standard warp to sunrise, as you see here, the sun has lifted over the surface of the water and it is uh, indeed morning. However, sometimes you want a little bit earlier of a start. You want to get just that extra jump ahead on your competition. So normally it starts off when you add this mod, it starts off at negative five. I'd put it to zero to show you what default looks like, but here we'll see what this mod excels at. And so with five minutes uh, before the sunrise, it allows us to have just a little bit extra of a jump. And now this doesn't really affect anything your launches are probably going to be the same however you do get this nicer earlier morning dawn glow nice oranges uh, and then darkness behind the sun hasn't even lifted over the surface of the water yet here it is at the default warp to sunrise as you see we are uh, in full view the whole way across all the way up and I do want to point out that this mod is useful even if you don't have uh, volumetric clouds However, just a reminder that environmental visual enhancements uh, is free and does add clouds. So you too can still get the dramatic sunrises uh, by launching just slightly earlier. But yeah, see, as you see here, it uh, just gives a little bit of a different tone. Uh, it's a different feeling to the launch. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just slightly enjoyable. Doesn't change the game very much, but Overall, it has just been a staple in every single one of my playlists. So now the second one, kind of in the same theme, we have Night Shift, and this is an auto day night cycle for the VAB and Space Plane Hangar. As we see here, it now uh, shows that it is currently nighttime, which is nice when you spend so much time building in the VAB. You spend, you know, a good hour or more designing your lander or your interplanetary mission. And then uh, you forget to realize uh, that it isn't daytime outside as you thought it would be. It is actually nighttime. So, you know, it just helps with planning launches and stuff. Just keep an eye on stuff. A little bit of realism. So for the next one, if you're familiar with my channel, then you know that I love to do IVA playthroughs. And so when we're doing an IVA, uh, sometimes it's helpful to know who exactly we're in control of, whether it's the pilot, the engineer, or the scientist. Uh, as you see here, we've got two Kerbals in our cans, and when we click on Jebediah, we get this little text at the top telling us that we're in control of Jebediah, and then when we switch over to Valentina, it lets us know at the top again as well. Tiny little change, but super helpful. And this one is a huge one. I always recommend this to people. This is like, add this to your mod list every single time. You don't need it very often, but when you do, it's a lifesaver. Have you ever found yourself in this position where your Kerbal is many kilometers away from your craft and you have to get there? Maybe you spent too much time exploring for your moon rock or maybe the rescue mission landed a little too far away. Maybe you don't have RCS pack or maybe you just want to go do something else while your Kerbal runs. Adding the www however many W mods, uh, what that does is it gives you the option of doing an auto run. It Without the mod, we would be forced to hold down the Shift and W key the entire time. We could time warp, or physics warp actually, to speed up the process, but the moment we let go of the W key, we stop moving. So, by hitting Control, Shift, and W, this mod allows you to uh, auto run towards your target. All you need to do is press the key Control, and then uh, turn your mouse and point it in the direction that you want to go, and the mod will take care of the rest. You can go ahead and hit the Alt and Period key to physics warp your way forward, and it will actually hold you pretty steady to the surface. Let's press the wrong button. You can, uh, it'll hold you pretty steady to the surface even on low gravity planets or uh, celestial bodies like Minmus. 
as you see here we're hardly hopping off the edge but now you can feel free to get up from your table go make a cup of coffee or tea or go grab whatever you need and come back and eventually you'll be at your destination hopefully you don't overshoot it because it doesn't stop you but it works on all the different celestial bodies well some exclusions may apply but like i said you may not use it practically ever but if you ever need it you'll be thankful you have it all right moving on to number five attack self-destruct continue now this is a standalone you don't need the attack life support mod for this to work but it adds two explosives a, a low-tech dynamite and a high-tech self-destruct c4 kind of system but you can put these on any parts any craft just like uh, any other they're radial attached parts and uh, yeah basically does what the tin says they're self-destruct methods you can adjust the time delay give yourself more time to get away you can turn off the staging on both of these and if you would rather have them attached to an action group you can go ahead and do that as well i like to have them attached to my stages whenever I'm jettisoning, uh, jettisoning the lower stage. But I'll show you how that works right now. As we see here, we've got a satellite, a little weird looking thing. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're gonna jettison the lower stage. We're gonna pretend that that had an engine on it. And we want to destroy it. So we've got our explosives on there. After five seconds, it goes ahead and gets rid of the piece. And so when we hop back into the tracking station, we see here that our satellite is in orbit and there is no space debris, keeping our map clean as well as our PC running smoothly. So I've got one last one for you, a little bonus mod. It, again, low impact, doesn't really affect much, but it is my personal mod that I put together. Uh, the Reddit user created these minimalistic flags for every single uh, celestial body in the Kerbal system and I've just found them so much fun uh, I like I, I add this because it's a low impact because it's just you know a flag mod but by having these little extra designs it kind of inspires me at least to to go exploring I want to uh, every time I change my mission flag to a new new celestial body it's like oh this is where we're going today the mods available on both Seacan and space dock and there is a link to the original post where the original flag designer explained what the theme and meaning of each of them are, which uh, I highly recommend checking out. Like I mentioned, it doesn't change much about the game, it's literally just a flag pack. However, by having something so unique to each celestial body, it does really encourage the player to go out and plant each particular flag where they belong. But that brings my list of mods to a close. These were five little mods that have just become staples in my playthrough. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about some high-impact mods that really change around the game that I don't hear people talk about. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward for more Kerbal. If you did, think about subscribing. Drop me a like, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.